Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I am installing some in-light low voltage LED lighting into a bench. I'm doing it indirect lighting, uh, something that is kind of cool. It, it shines like a cool glow where you actually don't see the lights that kind of glow down below. So if you like this video, I know more than 17% of our audience does. If you do, click that subscribe button because only 17% of you subscribe to our channel. What's up with that? Let's get that average up, man, come on. All right, so what I have is a brand new light still in the box. I thought I would show you guys what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So what I'm gonna do is I've kind of got a path ready to a certain point. We're gonna drill a hole. Basically these lights made by Inlight, they're high quality. And these are, uh, they call them the Hive 22 darks because it has a dark bezel. And if you look really closely, you'll see a little Dr. Dex logo on the bezel of the light. Pretty cool, huh? So the Hive has kind of a diffused lens, which is kind of cool. Uh, it casts a warm LED, which is kind of what I like when I'm doing stair lighting. I don't do a lot of cold LED stuff. And inside of each box comes a little inspirational testimonial about the doctor, all right? So get yourself some of these and read that and be inspired. All right, enough of that. So each light comes with your LED light with about a two foot cable on it and the adapter clip, which actually clamps down onto the wire and energizes the lead, okay? So what we're gonna do is we have a 22 millimeter bit. Why, why millimeter you ask? Well, this is a Canadian company and they work in millimeters and not fractions of an inch. 22 millimeter is very close to seven eighths of an inch. Just know that if you don't have a 22 millimeter bit, you can order these directly from Inlight. So you can look at them, inlight.com, I-N-L-I-T-E.com. We'll put it in, in the description below so you guys can find those guys. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to hook one of these up and get it lit. All right, so basically I'm gonna start with this 22 millimeter. And traditionally, like you can see some other lights that we've done where we've actually put one LED in each step riser, okay? And again, we're using the same bit, but this time we're actually gonna go into the frame of the bench and, and we're gonna drill up a hole two inches and then a hole through so we can get this cable up and through. And we're actually gonna hang the light so it casts down onto the floor of the deck and kind of makes the bench glow, okay? All right, so I have some uh, holes drilled already going through the two by fours in my bench. And now I've gotten to the one that I need to put a light in. So I've identified the side of the light where I need to drill in through the side for my wire. And then I have to drill a hole straight up to set the light into as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and cross drill this first at two inches down from the top. So it's almost right in the middle of this two by four. All right, I like to clear my holes. When I'm using four cinder bits, I like to clear my hole a little bit. And now I'm gonna drill straight up into that hole as well. All right, there we go. So now I'm gonna feed my wire. We'll call it the lead. And the reason I drill, I use that 22 millimeter hole on both sides is so I can get that lead through that two by four. Okay, and then we're just gonna put this, not all the way in yet, just in case something goes wrong, let's just say the, the, the light doesn't wanna light up for some reason or something like that. Now, typically I would run this wire, actually let's just do it so you guys get the idea. I'll have my wire running through these holes here and then this will continue on to the end of my line, wherever, wherever this is gonna stop, okay? And then all I gotta do to energize this, this part of the clamp or the locking mechanism, you have to put this, this is 12 gauge wire. So I'm gonna put this adapter clip on one side of the wire, and then this is gonna go right in the middle of all that, okay? You can see the grooves 
in this clip, okay? Then I screw this cap right onto here. And if you listen very closely, you can hear this click. What that click does is it releases dielectric grease into the barbs so it helps keep it from corroding. So here we go. There goes the click. You twist it one more time, now it's locked in. And all I gotta do to energize this is plug these two parts in. This is all waterproof connections or water resistant. There you go. Now this light's on, I know it works. I'm gonna go ahead and tap it. You can use a mallet or whatever. Tap this up and then at night, this is gonna cast a really cool glow down onto the deck and kind of highlight the floor space and give it kind of the bench kind of a glow. So that's what I'm after. And maybe I'll get a night shot for you guys and we'll put it at the end of this video. So that's all, that's all there is to it. You just keep running your lines and then wire management. So all this stuff here will um, usually zip tight. Once this is all tied up, then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll gather all this wire and we'll zip tie it together. And then we'll use a staple gun and we'll tighten it up into this space up in here so that uh, you don't have any loose wires hanging down and you can't see it from up above. There you go. All right, guys, that's how we're doing some indirect lighting and catch other videos that we make for other options like when we're doing in-step lighting and safety lighting and that kind of thing. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.